Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this one is focusing on some more failed attacks in One Hive Genesis and what you guys can learn from them. So a series I like to do occasionally just to show you guys kind of the other end of the the spectrum in terms of attacks that didn't work out because we so often see attacks that do work out on the channel and on YouTube in general. So here are some failed attacks. We'll talk about why they were failed. We're going to go Town Hall uh, 10v11, 10v10, and 9v9 for this video. So no 11v11s, unfortunately. Um, sorry if you were hoping to see some of those. But um, let's get started here. The first one is um, the dark one attacking base number 3. And um, of course, not to... Um, pick on anyone in particular uh, this is kind of just a part of clash of clans is failing attacks so uh, this is I think you know a pretty good walk here um, there's not a whole lot of point defense initially there are the two grounded expos which become a bit of an issue um, but they're not even the deal breaker for this attack good like bowler bounces there I'm not sure how planned that was but got a very fortunate uh, bowler bounce to help funnel the queen Otherwise, she could have gone the wrong way, but there's a lot of percentage as well on this walk, so definitely good value. Takes out the CC troops, will continue on, and uh, the idea is to have her meet up with the kill squad. She is going to target this wall, which I think he might have suspected was going to happen. This isn't like the biggest deal breaker of the attack. A uh, nice baby dragon is to help keep her funneled the right direction. Uh, come in there, take out a few buildings, a little bit of percentage, and keep the queen moving in the right way. Has to rage her again, so he has four rages. Not like he wasn't prepared to rage her quite a bit. Um, gets pretty low right here with four point defense on her. And uh, it's a little close. Is going to have to use the ability. Has to pop it. Um, good decision. I think she might have gone down there. So that's fine. Um, I think some of those defenses retarget, but both expos are going to get back on her. So has to rage her up one more time. Uh, here is the mass of bowlers and uh, golem, a giant in there. Uh, I think it has a bit of a wall breaker fail, but they'll just kind of swing through the wall. Everything's going fine, but it's just the timing here. The single inferno getting locked on to the queen is what's going to do it. Now, had he been able to save the ability, this would have possibly been a successful attack. But the point of this one is you need the queen to get the town hall in so many cases. He had a ton of bowlers going into the base, but especially without the rage spell on them, they're not going to be able to get the town hall, especially with the defensive queen sniping bowler after bowler even with the healers on them. So the point is, you got to make sure your kill squad is getting in there early to tank for the queen, because the queen is typically your most valuable asset for taking out the town hall. If you're doing a queen walk, typically you have to have her meet up with the kill squad and take out the town hall shooting behind them. So um, nice try there. Good plan, just didn't quite work out. Um, taking a look at some 10v10, we have Boudreaux attacking number 14 here. And this is a hog attack. I think both 10v10s are hog attacks, um, although we have been seeing some Laloon as well. But um, what we've been doing in Genesis is mainly hog attacks. I think it's still the top strategy for 10v10 right now uh, to get the three star in these bases. So starts off with a nice bowler bounce to take out two buildings for a funnel, something to look for. And has like a little mini queen walk. I, I think this is a, was a great idea, this queen walk, because it's not going to get a ton of value. He's starting the queen walk at the same time as he starts the golem and the king and wizards on the other side. Everything's going to meet up in the middle for a jump spell. Then he'll come at the inferno, uh, come at the queen here. So this setup was fine. Doesn't even have to invest any spells in keeping his queen up. She'll get three defenses plus the funnel, and those healers will... Uh, continue to follow the, the kill squad into the base and it'll help keep them healed up. Now this I think right here is one of the problems is he should have healed the kill squad. If I pause for a moment you can see how much troop space is being invested. He only has 18 plus I think 7, only has 25 hogs, not a lot of hogs, like a medium amount of hogs. Three heal spells, not necessary. I think he should have healed up the kill squad going into the base even though there's the healers you can see they're focused on the queen the bowlers are going to get destroyed by uh splash damage from this from this the inferno tower beams it's and possibly giant bombs in there as well it's more important to keep those bowlers up he's investing a lot in the kill squad 
I think the better decision would have been to use one of those heals on the kill squad and use two heals on the hogs. Now out comes the CC, poisons it on top of the queen, but you can see these boulders go down. Despite the healers in there, they're focused on the queen, which is fine. That's still good value from the healers. Sorry to pause it again, but that's still good value from the healers um, for them to keep the queen up. But don't expect them to target bowlers because bowlers are much less housing space. The queen is worth 25. Bowlers are only 6 apiece. So even if you have the healers going to the base, it's good value. But you still might want to use a heal spell if you have a big kill squad. That's going to take a lot of splash damage. Because um, he's not going to get a whole lot out of this kill squad. And it's just going to be the queen up at the end here. Now another thing, this heal spell... Um, pretty obvious it missed but even if there were hogs it's way too exaggerated towards the inferno you want to make sure you heal the hogs don't try to get too precise with that heal spell because you can see um on the air defense and on that cannon the hogs aren't in that heal spell it was also probably too early arguably because by the time the bomb tower and the giant bomb go off the hogs aren't being healed up so you want to come a little stronger with the hogs bigger groups keep them healed up early don't get too Town Hall 90 and finessey with your, uh, with your, um, your your heal spell placement. That's what I'm trying to say. So the queen will, you know, kind of go through the wall, get a little bit more value. But this attack's pretty much over. I think if the kill squad had a little more juice in it, if he had used a heal spell on it, they would have got deeper. Possibly would have got through the wall towards the inferno. Um, but otherwise, doesn't work out. You can see he has a pretty much an extra heal spell because his hogs died. So. Yep, nice try to Boudreaux, and uh, we'll move on to one more 10v10 here. Let's see, number 10 versus 13. This one, I think, was pretty clear what the issue was. you got to be very careful when coming at these single Infernos. Don't underestimate them. And that Golem, I know he tried to drop it out of range, but he just misses, and that's basically a wasted Golem to that single Inferno because it splits so quickly. Gets momentary tanking out of it, but not a whole lot of value. The other golem um, also goes down quickly. Maybe should have used giants and maybe should have healed the kill squad. I'm a big fan of healing the kill squad and just bringing two heals for the hogs. But regardless, um, the golems go down and what happens is that the single takes out the king. So that single inferno took out both his golems and his king. That's basically where his kill squad went to that single inferno. So I think maybe a skelly spell would have been a good use. Um, I made a video on how to deal with single infernos and stop them from taking out your king. And one of the big points was the skelly spell. You got to be careful. And uh, the skelly spell is a way to distract that single inferno so it doesn't lock on as easily to your big troops like your golem, your king, stuff that you don't want to get taken out by that single inferno. Uh, so of course with the queen still up and all these defenses, not going to be a successful attack. I think oftentimes three heal spells is not necessary for Town Hall 10. You, you need to get enough of the base taken out to the point where two heal spells are all that you need, meaning you might be better off healing your kill squad. I don't know. depends on the base. Um, sometimes more heal spells can work out for you, but the key is in any Town Hall 10 hog attack, for the most part, with some exceptions, you want to bite off a big piece of the base with your kill squad, enough to clear out a nice little U-shape, a horseshoe, for your hogs to go around, a nice hog lane, no thicker than the width of a heal spell, so they all stay together under the same heal, as I've talked about before. Okay, some Town Hall 9 action for you guys, um, two attacks to show, 26, um, this is Howard attacking... Uh, Pirates of COC and this one classic La Loon. I think the kill squad on this one was nice and he's getting a nice balance of taking out two air defenses but also getting some air targeting defenses such as wizard towers, archer towers, expos, a sweeper and of course the queen and the CC uh, which are very important so a, a nice kill squad entry I have no objection to how the kill squad uh, went it was just the Laloon deployment that I think might have cost him, and it's it's tricky. I, it, you know, without any spells for your back end Laloon, it is very difficult because we're so used to hasting loons, which uh, makes it so much easier to move them through the base. When you don't have any spells, you have to be very precise with how you drop them and how the pathing works because they're very slow um, without any help from spells. So it has two jumps, goes ahead and rages them up. The rage a little bit questionable. Um, I've talked, I made a video recently about, you know, when should you rage up your kill squad. Although it's some decent value because it's over an expo, kind of over the queen. Um, rage spell was fine, not the big issue in this attack, really. 
has a heal spell as well, which I think he's going to drop in just a moment. Um, heal spell might have been a little bit late, if anything, because you want to heal the troops up before they die. Um, and I, I think quite a few of his troops did go down. One thing that's kind of underrated is healing up those barbarians that the king spawns, because they can do some pretty serious uh, damage if they're in like you know a group of like 15 after they all get spawned. So don't underestimate that. So here come the loons. Um, I... You know, it's tough. I might have come at the air defenses first and gone kind of the opposite way around the base. Now, you do kind of have to overwhelm it all at once when you don't have any spells for your Laloon. But what I would have done is probably drop the Lava Hounds towards the top, come with some loons to take out those air defenses. Then once the air defenses were down, the Lava Hounds would move defense to defense. And as they moved defense to defense, then you deploy more loons um, basically around the base like this. Now... Might not have worked out. This way actually kind of almost worked out, but it just, he kind of split the base in half in the two edges, the Tesla's down here, um, and the air defense cannon up there are still left up. So typically, I think you want to come at the air defenses when you don't have any spells and rely on the Lava Hounds to basically tank wizard towers, archer towers, and protect your balloons just by virtue of being so tanky and those defenses not doing a lot of damage. So typically, come at the air defenses first because if you don't have spells, if those air defenses are left up towards the end, you're going to be in some serious trouble because they take out loons like crazy. So I think if he started at 12 and kind of worked his way down, might have had a better chance, but I don't know. It's, it's tough. There was, this base was set up pretty well to defend against law loons, so... Nice attack to Howard. We'll take a look at one more here. Um, let's see, number 19 on our side, attacking 29. Now let's see what this one was. Yeah, this one was an interesting base and an interesting attack for it. You can see just a wall breaker to lure out that Lava Hound, which in general I'm a big fan of using um, the beginning of a Queen Walk to just to take out a CC for free. I like the wizard, I think he drops, a, or no, minions. A wizard I think would have been nicer because it does much more damage than minions, even for the amount of troop space it costs. So you gotta be very careful on time with Town Hall 9 Queen Walks. Might have been a little bit sketchy there, but um, the time's not that big of a deal. The minions, the queen, they all take out the pups. Baby Dragon gets a little bit distracted right there, so doesn't get a ton of value from that Baby Dragon. Doesn't get that mortar he probably wanted. Uh, but it helps funnel the queen, and basically she's going to walk up towards the heroes. There's a bit of a Tesla farm there as well. He'll drop his king. So that's all fine. The problem is that the hog pathing for the rest of the base is far from ideal. We talk about hog pathing, and you want to have your hogs all traveling along a hog lane, so to speak, within the width of a heal spell. Um, also, pops the queen's ability just kind of out of panic. Not a huge deal, but of course it would have been nice to save the queen's ability. Uh, suicides the king in, takes out the defensive king, tanks a little bit. That's all fine. It's mainly the hogs that I think is what the issue was with this attack. You can see it's a very wide spread. There's some skelly traps. I believe there's some spring traps as well. And it's difficult to heal these hogs. Like, where do you drop the heals? He has three of them. He should have dropped the heals earlier before they hit those giant bombs there. I guess one on each side. But the bomb tower in the middle complicates things because you kind of have to heal over that. Um, although it is level 1. So I guess had he dropped those heals earlier on each side, it would have been better, but it's still difficult to have the situation where your queen can't take out any of those wizard towers, which you know will destroy the hogs for wizard towers if they're not under heal, also very high HP. So in terms of the value from the queen walk, it definitely was decent. The only problem was the defenses and the arrangement that was left up was very bad for hog pathing and just for healing the hogs in general. So when you do a queen walk and you're doing a relatively mass hog attack off of that, um, you want to make sure the hog pathing is good because you're not just taking out defenses just to take out defenses, but you're taking them out um, in a way that you want to help funnel your hogs in the right direction. It's more than just how many defenses can I get and then add those up. Okay, it's worth it. You also want to think about what kind of pathing are you making for your hogs? How is that going to affect how you heal them? And in this space, for this attack, it was not uh, favorable. So nice try to A2SK, um, if I can try that. And uh, that'll do it for this video. Hope this was helpful for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, probably going to have some, hopefully some live action maybe. It's been a while since I've had some live attacks and other live attacks from other people. 
try to get some of that out from the One Hive uh, war that's coming up right now this weekend. It's the One Hive. Um, it's one of those placement wars for CWL, kind of preseason almost, as we're getting ready for the actual season. CWL invite this season for One Hive Genesis should be fun, and you guys will see plenty of that over the next few months for sure. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.